Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are continuing service catalog and we discuss what is catalog item. So let's open the service catalog. Let's go to hardware. Let's open this catalog item. Now you have to right click on the header and click on configure item. So now you see each and every details here for this catalog item and you can make edit. Okay. Many of these are self-explanatory things like name, then we have catalog. So you can have a number of catalogs in which a catalog item can be present. Based on your organization, you can create a catalog. Okay. You just have to go to the catalog table and then you can create it. Here you see this item is present in two catalog. One is test catalog and second is service catalog. If you want to add a new one, you can click on it. You see total four catalogs are available. So let me add this in the technical catalog as well. Okay, so now done. Then we have the category field. This is also important. So here we have total 40 categories. Okay, all these categories are derived from these catalogs. Okay, a particular field and you have to select one from it. Then you can add owner. You can update the state. It's not that important. Okay, you need not to do anything here. Just come here in the item details where you can provide uh, short description, description. Description can be given in a more advanced way where you can add link, uh, text, uh, video, anything you want. Then you have this meta field where you have to provide some comma separated text so that it will be easy for this item to come in the search. Then you have this process engine here you have to select the either flow, workflow or execution plan. So all these three will provide some set of predefined steps which is used to acquire the service or in this case which is used to get this developer laptop by anyone okay so in catalog item generally we use workflows okay you can use either flow and execution plan as well but traditionally workflow is being used okay so now let's go to the next one there you have pictures you can select icon and picture here then you have pricing options okay well defined and then you have these portal settings okay where you can select any of these options self-explanatory okay now come at the bottom here you see various related lists the very important one is variables so if you have seen previous video of service catalog you know what is a variable a variable is uh, something by which we can either present the information or get some details from the users okay so now if we just uh, try this developer laptop you see all these are variables here in this we are asking for which optional software you want from this laptop and here we are asking from the user if he has some additional requirements okay so if you compare these variables with the fields in service now table okay it is almost the same concept you see here we have the name of the variable we have the type of the variable this is the question or you can say label of the variable okay this is the order by which order you want to display the variable okay so let me open this variable okay so this is the variable you see the question and name name is the one which we use in uh, uh, scripting time okay otherwise you see here selection is required read only hidden all these mandatory all these options are available like we have on the fields you can see the type here you can have the default value you can set the permissions like who can read which role can read which role can write which role can create okay and you can provide the availability options as well you can create a number of variables for a catalog item and arrange it according to your wish then we have variable sets so now suppose you have some variables which are of same kind and uh, these variables are used in multiple catalog items so instead of creating these variables in each catalog item you can create a variable set and then you can utilize that variable set in all the catalog items from here okay so this is a kind of uh, uh, creating and sharing thing then we have ui policies then we have catalog client script so all these scripting options are also available for that particular catalog item because when we have fields we have to do some kind of actions based on clicks and all right so in that case you can use all these ui policy and catalog client script we'll understand later then you have this available for and not available for so various conditions are there which you can add here okay you can create new or select from existing so you can select the condition from here you see 
you can add users group and roles to which this particular catalog item is available and you can select company location all such filters you can select from here so this is it about catalog it so in the next video of service catalog we will create a new catalog and then we'll create a new category and new catalog item new workflow and then add some variables all practical in one go okay so stay tuned subscribe it thank you so much bye bye